Well, to Israel now, where the fighting has resumed after a week-long truce with Hamas comes to an end. Both sides accusing the other of violating their agreement and preventing an extension. Sharon Crowley joins us now in studio with where things stand. Sharon. Yeah, that's right, Natasha. Secretary of State Antony Blinken says Hamas violated the terms of the temporary ceasefire. He says Hamas began firing rockets before the ceasefire had ended and broke a commitment to release certain hostages. Israel ending the ceasefire with Hamas. IDF airstrikes hitting houses and buildings in the Gaza Strip. Israeli military forces also blasting terrorist targets minutes after the temporary truce expired. Both Israel and Hamas blame each other for violating the agreement. Secretary of State Antony Blinken faults Hamas. Hamas reneged on commitments it made. In fact, even before the pause came to an end, it committed an atrocious terrorist attack in Jerusalem, killing three people, wounding others, including Americans. Israel secured the release of over 100 hostages during the pause in fighting, but says Hamas refused to free the final 20 female captives. Qatari negotiators say talks are ongoing to return to a pause in fighting. However, Israel's military has begun expanding operations into southern Gaza, urging people there to leave their homes. <laughs> Families weeping tears of joy after Hamas released eight more Israeli hostages yesterday, including 21-year-old Mia Shem and 40-year-old Amit Suzana. Hamas drugged our children and branded them like cattle with burns from motorcycle exhaust pipes in order to identify them in case they tried to escape. Israeli officials say more than 130 hostages are still being held in Gaza. Ruby Chen says Hamas kidnapped his son. We are happy for those that have been united with their family, but those that have been left behind are dying each day without that medical attention. Well, the International Rescue Committee, an aid group that's operating in Gaza, warned that the return of fighting will wipe out even the minimal relief provided by that truce. Now, U.S. National Security Council spokesman John Kirby saying today that Israel had blocked trucks from crossing into Gaza today, but at the request of the U.S. government, it said it would allow some aid to enter, Steve. All right. Thanks, Sharon.